But first, we begin with news making headlines around the state and possible changes to California's recall process that could be sent to voters. For the first time, Secretary of State Shirley Weber gave lawmakers today some suggestions on how this process could be improved. 17's Ashley Zavala has more from Sacramento. Californians believe in, um, in recall. California's top election official Tuesday officially offering what she says should change in California's recall process. Secretary of State Shirley Weber suggested lawmakers consider asking voters to approve changes that include shortening the recall ballot to just a single yes or no question. Eliminating question two, which currently asks voters to pick a replacement candidate. People are not evaluating is there something wrong that we need to do a recall about and what are the circumstances. It's always becomes is, is this person better than the other 43. She said she supports a proposal already filed this year that would allow the state's lieutenant governor to replace a recalled governor. Weber also suggested state lawmakers consider raising the standards to recall the governor, extending the time frame to have a recall election, placing limits on the number of recall petition attempts against a target, and putting together a committee to keep tabs on the state's recall process. I mean, those are things I think that are are extremely important to make sure our process is fair. Her comments Tuesday, the first time Weber has formally and publicly provided concrete suggestions to change the state's 110-year-old direct democracy system that allows citizens to remove elected officials from office. Her comments came in the final state legislative hearing to analyze potential changes. The hearings were launched after Governor Newsom defeated his own recall last fall. Critics of the process have said recalls have been costly, overused, and weaponized recently against elected officials at every level of government. A recent Public Policy Institute of California poll presented to lawmakers showed about 60% of likely voters want to see changes to the process. If there's anything that needs to be fixed, now's the time to fix things. I've been increasingly of a mind that there is no need to change. But some lawmakers have noted there have only been two successful attempts to recall a governor in California in the state's history. The same PPIC poll showed 86% of Californians are glad the state constitution allows for recalls. The recall process is the only thing left that the people have to hold you folks accountable. The committee did not take any action in the hearing, but state lawmakers still have more than two weeks to file new proposals. Any major changes would be up to voters. At the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.